Well, we're actually traveling west on 63 right now. Now, according to the Oklahoma Department of Transportation, this road's been around since 1960. And just about 200 cars travel this road on a daily basis. Now, one of the major concerns, of course, is that a lot of those cars are 18-wheelers and school buses. They all have to share the road with several of the schools that are in this area, including right here, where the Haleyville Warriors play their football games. It's a common spot for school bus traffic. 63 goes on. As Bernie Greenway drives along Highway 63, reminiscing, he's lived here since 1980. 20 years after this one-time county road became a state highway. And they put it in and don't have enough money for the asphalt road. The highway goes between highways 69 and 270. These trucks come through here, it's a shortcut. And it's very, very dangerous, especially for school buses. Several one-lane bridges, hairpin turns, and reminders of drivers who died here line this road. Check out how this semi creeps over the yellow line into our lane. Folks around here say it's a common occurrence. We just need some shoulders, some shoulders and fix the two lanes that we have. I mean, you've got nowhere to go. We reached out to ODOT about Greenway's concerns. Spokesperson says it's a two lane highway without shoulders. ODOT encourages drivers to pay close attention and drive for conditions, adding the roads had regular routine maintenance. But for Greenway, a lot more work needs to be done, including safety improvements before something terrible happens. It's going to happen. It is going to happen. I just don't know when. In Pittsburgh County, Brian Miller, two works for you.